history. Hi, I'm Paula Cahill. I'm here at Dr. George's offices in Woodbury, New Jersey, where I've had the pleasure and the honor to see the 76 paintings that he had installed here on Thursday. I have to admit, I have, this has definitely exceeded my expectations beyond belief. Um, the paintings are very beautiful and I was really happy to go through with Dr. George where he explained his process to me. He definitely has this incredible natural sense of color. He's very experimental. He's really um, super spontaneous and he is a prolific painter. He produces hundreds of paintings every month. I so enjoy the many different methods that he used. It was fun to try to guess how he arrived at each painting. And as you can see in this piece, he's doing a great job of using the background. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this was done on a panel that actually has vertical, uh, horizontal stripes inscribed in it. So it looks like there's this other element. You can't quite figure out at first whether he painted those stripes on or how he, how he even got to that. And then he's very, uh, very sensitive to how he's using the background and let it show through. So we had a wonderful morning here. I hope you'll continue to uh, follow Dr. George on Instagram. And if you want to visit me, I'm at Paula K. Hill Paints. That's Paula, like a drug trip. Paula K. Hill, it's lovely to have you here. And what are you seeing in these, these paintings? It, what, what, you've said a lot of very interesting comments. Just. Describe a few of those on these two, for example. Well, first of all, I think you have an amazing affinity for color, Dr. George. You're really great at putting the colors together. Often you give me some unexpected combinations that really surprise me. And then I enjoy the way you play with the space and the layering in the painting. And for instance, in this piece, I know that you put that yellow down first, mm -hmm. but there are areas where, because of the way the edge is treated and the way it's placed, that it appears as if it's coming out and it's uh -huh. on top. So it gives your painting more space and it makes it fun for me to look at. And then you have different areas of really nice transparency that occurred because of the way you dragged your um, instrument of choice across the uh, across the paper. Mm -hmm. And that gives you another really interesting layer. I think I told you that reminds me of a drug trip. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> this is very similar, but it has a whole different feeling. It has a very light feeling. Super impressed with your spontaneity, with your freedom. Mm -hmm. I think it's just amazing. And also you're prolific. You make an incredible amount of art every day, every week. <laughs> Uh, you have a great commitment to it. It's fun. It came out of my rehabilitation from my injury, and it's a gift that keeps on giving. And you never knew that you had this ability? Absolutely not. Yep. Wow. Look at how much fun this one is. <laughs> X marks the spot. Again, you have that implied diagonal X going on. That's sort of a, I don't know, Rubens used the X a lot in his composition. Interesting. Edge go, you let the painting splatter in spot. Gold pushes back. 
I'm having as much fun trying to think about how you make them and what tools you use as, you know, I am looking at them and seeing how beautiful they are. And I can't really tell you how you did it. It looks like you used a couple of different tools in this one. Yeah, yeah. This one. Uh oh, that was hiding on me. Look, I love that, the yellow and the red, and then it gets all smushy, it swipes down, and it reminds me of a bird. Oh, it's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> One of the challenges of signing is how is somebody going to frame it and hang it? Is it going to be vertical, horizontal? How, you know, how are they going to do it? That's really beautiful. So I love, I'm really loving the transparency. Well, you're, exp you're really inspiring me to do some faster paintings. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I like the quickness of this a lot. It gives it gesture, moves forward, moves backward. Again, I become very drawn to these edges where you let it splat and you end up with some dots. It's another nice piece. Great, you know, great combination of the colors. And then there's just a little bit of blue to keep me, you know, to get me more interested again. It's like all of a sudden I see that tiny bit. It's like uh -huh. a surprise. Lovely. What's really fun in this piece, uh. the way some of these lines are weaving over, under, over, under. Yes. Somehow you are always making the color work. Even oh. as you move from palette to palette. And again, here's your diagonal. And I like that the diagonal is, it's not equal, you know? It's not like it's cutting it exactly in half. It's just a little... Irregular. Yeah, a little bit. I like that. Well, the different blacks, correct? Yes, exactly. That's a more dark black background. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like the way this black is working with this color. Mm -hmm. Another, you know, and also I like the way the dots are going from here to here to here to here. And then I get a little surprised because this dot is made completely differently yeah. than the other three dots. But it, it's just that one dot so that's fun that keeps me going and it's almost like this anchors uh-huh the rest of the painting because you know i go there i'm a little stuck there but then i want to go back up yeah i like to keep mixing the directions up in mm -hmm. a, in a way that maintains interest without being too confusing i think that's a good idea